Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is Teardrops, which says going through some great personal sorrow. So you have been crying about something that happened to you and you have been dealing with a lot of problems, but these problems are now going to be resolved soon. You've got the Vulture card above it, which says that you've been going through a lot of anxiety, worry, depression, and you're worried that somebody is against you. So you are dealing with some kind of big issue here, and that's causing a lot of tears. Now, in the past, you've got the Egg card over here, which says success ensured uh, with good planning and hard work. So you have been working very, very hard, and there has been some success that has been coming in for you. You've got pleasure with a close friend over here, so the dog close up. So there's been somebody around you that has been very loyal and very supportive in this difficult time that you're going through. Now, going into the future, you've got the staff over here, which says you will be uh, taken care of uh, in these difficult times. So whatever you're going through right now, there is going to be support, and there's going to be help that comes in for you. And then you've got the stock card over here that says news of a birth or a new business opportunity coming. So the stock generally brings about change and positive change. So something new coming in for you in a positive way. So all these problems that you're going through will resolve itself. And, you know, big changes are coming in soon. Positive changes. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm using the Everyday Enchantment Tarot for the main read. I have shuffled this deck. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Nine of Cups over here. So there's some kind of celebration coming up over here and a victory of sorts over here. So maybe getting together with people, socializing with them. It's a card of satisfaction and it's also the card of wish fulfillment. So, you know, whatever you've been hoping for is going to be very successful and it's going to come, uh, you know, things are coming into fruition for you, fruition for you. And it's going to be, you know, a very, very positive outcome. And, you know, you're going to be celebrating a uh, the victory in that particular situation. So happy times are about to enter into your life. And, you know, this is a very, very positive card, a very, very positive energy. And, you know, celebrating, getting together with friends, family, and enjoying things, really. So that is a really good, uh, you know, it's one of the best cards in the tarot deck. So it means that there's quite a good positive change coming in for you. Now, you've got the strength card over here. You're getting over some kind of problem, and you're, tr you know, you're dealing with it. You've had somebody that's very, very faithful, very loyal. You've got that woman with the dog over there. But, it, you know, you've overcome quite a lot of difficulties, quite a lot of problems. Uh, you know, you've been through a lot, and it seems like, you know, you are going to be overcoming it. It's crossed by the Nine of Blades, so you're still very, very anxious, very, very worried. Uh, you know, maybe you're not sleeping well at all. Uh, you know, you're dealing with this particular situation, but it looks like, you know, with this um, Nine of cups over here it looks like things are going to be uh, you know there's going to be a positive outcome and maybe all this worry has been very very unnecessary so you need to get yourself out of that energy of anxiety and uh, you know into something positive a positive mindset because it looks like things are going to turn around for you you get got the eight of coins over here so this is um, you know in the past year you've been working pretty hard learning a lot uh, in the job that you've been doing um, you know and earning money as well while you're working very hard maybe becoming an expert in that particular field, um, you know, and um, learning a lot um, from it. Uh, whatever you've been doing, whatever job you've been doing. You've got the Page of Blades over here. So this is about a lot of, uh, you know, insight coming to you. Maybe you've been doing a lot of study as well uh, with this job because with the Eight of Coins, it's also about study um, as well as working. Uh, but there's a lot of information that has come to light, a lot of secrets being revealed to you, um, you know, and maybe these were shocking things that were revealed, but uh, a lot of things coming to light for you with this page of blades. You could have also been dealing with somebody that was very deceptive um, in your arena. Um, and, you know, maybe they've been, because the page of blades is usually the page of coins and that, um, sorry, the page of, um, 
of air, um, of sorts rather. And uh, this person usually is somebody who is a, uh, you know, they carry tails and they're a bit nasty to deal with and they, you know, things, um, they say things that are, uh, you know, that stir up problems. So you could have been dealing with that kind of energy. But it looks like, you know, the way the spread is going, it looks like, you know, a lot of secrets being revealed to you, a lot of information coming to light for you right now. So what's in your mind? Uh, you've got the Eight of Wands. So you're trying to move, you're, you're hoping that things start moving. Maybe you're trying to move home. Uh, you've got this house sold over here, or you could be waiting for some news to come in as well. So some information that you're missing that you're waiting for, um, and that is the thing that is going to allow you to move forward in life. You're, um, you know, that's been on your mind. So going into the future, it looks like you want to make a move. With the Knight of Wands, it seems like you know you're getting your power back in your hands again. But with the Knight of Wands, it's you know um, relocating. It might be relocating to do a new job or even uh, doing some travel. And you, it looks like you know you, this is on your mind. You want to to make a move. You want to do some travel. You want to see the world. So it seems like um, you know you you're trying to uh, you know change your life and you're trying to move on. And uh, you know maybe you are tired of being stuck in that particular position and you're trying to get going so this is your power coming back in your hands this uh, wands card is your card and it seems like you may want to move you want to travel you want to relocate or do a job somewhere else it seems like you know you're tired of being stuck in that particular position now there's some kind of offer coming in with, for you with this knight of cups they usually bring in some offer you can see there's money over there so um, this might be a new job coming and this job involves study as well uh, this could also be an emotional offer so this could be somebody um you know making some kind of uh, invitation to you uh, some kind of romantic gesture towards you um somebody that you know you meet it's a chance meeting maybe uh, but this could be somebody coming into your life uh, offering you a new relationship or this, like I said, could be a new job with uh, the prospect of study as well and new money as well coming in for that, with that. And this information comes in, maybe there's any, uh, on, on the internet, uh, you know, you get some kind of communication coming in, some kind of offer coming in. You've got the Ace of Blades over here, so this is the beginning of, uh, you know, um, this is um, new insights coming in as well as being able to take control of the situation. Um, you know, you're uh, winning that situation. This is victory over any kind of problems that you had. It's also cutting out things that are no longer serving you or, or you know, seeing the truth of that situation. So a lot of things coming to light. Now, if you are going through some kind of this, you know, in this card, this dog going through surgery. So, you know, if you're going through um, any kind of um, health issues, uh, you know, you will overcome any kind of problems as well. So you've got the King of Wands over here. It seems like you want your power back. Uh, with this king of wands it's taking control of that situation and even traveling and moving forward so this is a leader uh, and you know doing things uh taking uh, charge of that situation and going above and beyond uh you know your capabilities uh but you know seeing that bigger picture and using all your strength and power so it looks like you want to take control of that situation and you want uh, you know you want that leadership position uh, as well in your life um, maybe people have disempowered you by the words that they've said but you know you are now You've got that Ace of Swords over there. So you are now speaking your truth, taking charge of the situation, seeing things with great clarity. And a lot of secrets have been revealed or will be revealed to you. And with that information, you want to take uh, control of that situation. Now, going to the future, you've got the Ten of Wands, the King of Coins, and the Two of Coins. Now, with the Ten of Wands, whatever job you're doing, it seems like, you know, you're very, very stressed out by it. You're taking a lot of responsibilities as far as your work, or you have taken a lot of responsibilities as far as your work goes, or a lot of burdens, financial burdens, working late hours. Uh, you know, you're very stressed out. Uh, but that cycle is now coming to an end with that 10. So it seems like this is now coming to an end. Uh, maybe you've had enough of it. Maybe this is the reason why you want to do some traveling or you want to change your job because you've really had enough of all the stress that is going on. There may have been too many deadlines. you got the king of coins over here. So it looks like, um, you know... Uh, you're going to be moving on to something new. There might be a new uh, job offer coming in for you with this King of Coins because you've got the Two of Coins following it. Uh, so this person is making some kind of new offer to you. Um, it might be a big business or a big company. Uh, somebody making you know um, some kind of offer to you um, and it's going to be where you have to choose which one you want to take. So you're going to be weighing the options about which particular job you want to do, uh, which one pays more for you. Uh, 
is what you're probably going to be, well, you're going to be taking that one. So there's one one of the jobs that are going to be on offer for you are going to be, uh, you know, um, uh, giving you a lot more money. Uh, and this offer comes in from this king of coins. So there are two, it looks like there's two jobs on the table. You're going to be offer, um, being offered that and you're going to have to make some kind of choice. You are watching your finances very, very carefully. There are a lot of bills coming in for you, but, um, you know, whatever this job is that's being offered to you is going to be paying off pretty well. And there you are, uh, you know, weighing your options, deciding which particular one is going to be the better one, which particular offer is going to be uh, the one that brings in more abundance. So there's some kind of choice coming in for you. Um, you are very, very stressed out in the work that you're currently doing. And this is having some kind of knock on effect on your, um, you know, it's giving you a lot of anxiety. You've got that nine of blades, so it's affecting your sleeping patterns. It's making it might be making you a bit ill. You might be getting stress-related illnesses, uh, but some choice coming in for you, and you will get uh, a wish fulfilled. So whatever you want is going to be manifested for you, and you're going to be able to move on from it. And uh, it's important to remember to speak your truth with that ace of blades. So make sure that you're very clear uh, on what you want. Think very clear, very logical. Um, you know, the ace of blades is also about signing new contracts. Um, so that could well be the case. So it looks like there's some kind of change coming in for you. With this uh, knight of wands, it's uh, counseling to, you know, take control, take charge, and go for it. And it looks like there might be a relocation or a new job that is coming in for you. That involves a lot of travel. So I'm drawing some cards from the um, Angel Tarot. So you've got the Seven of Fire over here, which says, Defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, and choose your um, battles wisely. So if you're up against anybody, stand up for yourself with the Seven of Fire, which is the Seven of Wands, and make sure people know, uh, you know you're a force to be reckoned with. Then you've got the Ten of Water over here, which says, A contented, uh, rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are being met and trustworthy relationships. So with the Ten of Water is the Ten of Cups, so it's the end of difficult emotional problems that you've been going through. Any kind of depression or problems, uh, those will now fade away uh, with this Ten of Water. And you've got the ending as well with the Ten of Fire. So this is the Ten of um, Rods over here, or Ten of Wands. Here, the same kind of uh, energy. And you've got uh, too much work, accept help from others. Life is out of balance, stress-related health concerns. So it, this has been causing, the stress has been causing you a lot of um, problems as far as your health goes. But you can see there's a butterfly there. So transformation is coming over here and change is going to be coming in for you. This new job is going to be offering you something that you want. It's going to be offering you more money. Um, you know, this new offer comes in for you. There's more money coming in as well. And it's going to bring in that wish fulfillment. So you're going to be celebrating uh, very soon uh, because, you know, things are going to be looking up. So things are about to change for the better, for the positive, and it looks like you're going to be moving out of this difficult situation. You are waiting for that news to come in and things are going to start moving um, as well for you. So I hope that this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.